In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build your new agency website step by step using our latest free template. So first things first, to get this template, you should go to the link in the description. If you don't see this, most likely you will need to create a Framer account. So once you do that, you will see the screen. All you got to do is just click copy project to my account and just wait for it to load up. So once everything is done, you should see this screen and this is the actual template we're gonna use. Now to preview it, you can click on this play button so you can see how it actually looks. You can scroll through everything and in just a second, I'm gonna show you how you can customize it and make it your own. So let's go back. Now, Framer is pretty simple. I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of what we're looking at. On the left side, we have three tabs, pages, layers, and assets. On top, we can insert different sections, elements, frames, images, and everything else. But we're not going to dive too much into that. Uh, then on the right side, you can see the project settings. From here, you can change the title of your website. I would just put your agency name and what you're actually doing. You can put in a little description. You can add a social image. And from general, you can do the same thing. So you can put your title and description and you can also add a fav icon, which basically should be your agency's logo. And the social image currently is set to the framer template default image. So you can either remove it or upload your own and you can see the dimensions here. Um, and this image will basically show up once you send the links or, sh or share it in any social media. Um, so that's the settings. Then you have the play button. You can invite people to collaborate with by clicking invite and then you can publish the site to the um, default framer subdomain and if you want to add a custom domain you can simply click here go to connect the domain then you got to purchase a plan and connect it it's pretty simple but other than that let's get to actually customizing this template so first let's actually see how to change the logo all you got to do is zoom in and you can do that by holding down command or alt on windows or control i'm not completely sure you can test that out and then just scroll with the mouse wheel and you can zoom in and from here just double click on the navigation where we see our logo and you will see this component screen uh, this basically shows you all of the views of the navigation um, if you're on dark mode it might be hard to see but basically we have the logo on the left side here now to change it simply click on it go to the right side and here where it says fill just click on the image and click choose image now you can pick your new logo and chances are it uh, will fit a bit weird at first so you can adjust its sizing by adjusting the width and height maybe until you have it how you want it to and i think this looks pretty okay and i think everything looks clean so we can go back to home and now you see we have a new logo up and it looks nice on all screen sizes now the next thing we're gonna change is the text and it's very simple to change the text anywhere on this page you can simply hover over what you want to change double click it and then change the text and you can do that on the headings headings go here for the descriptions now for the buttons if you want to change the the text you can uh, for this one simply double click on it again and just change it same thing here but some buttons the buttons for example this one is a component and the reason it's a component is because we have a different hover effect and to change the text here you simply click on it go to the right side and next to title you can change this to just like that you can change the services names and so on every text on this page is completely um, changeable now to change colors, um, there's a few ways we can do that. The first one will uh, help you pick your colors easier. You can go um, to this assets tab and then go down and here we have the colors. So these are the default global colors. You can simply click on what you want to change. And let's say we want to turn this dark into a bluish color. You can see you, we can do that. Now I don't think this looks good. So I'm just going to darken it a little. You can do the same for the blue. Let's try to make it dark pink color. So as you can see, just like that, we changed all blue um, highlight elements into this pink color. Now we have actually another pink color here that uh, we can change, but we're not gonna touch that elevated uh, background is just a darker shade of the white. 
and then we have a pure white color so we can adjust those here but uh, if you notice any of the text that is not actually changing color where you want to change it you can simply select it go to the right side and here next to color you can see that we have a linear gradient here so we can again just select what you want to change let's make this a bit blue or if you want it to be a simple um, solid color you can just click here and that makes it a solid color so you can customize the colors of the text just like that now to customize backgrounds um, I recommend for you to actually do that because if a lot of people end up using this template you, your site might look the same as you know every other person that's using it um, now to change the background you can click on it just scroll down and here next to fill you see that we have an image set as the background you can either pick a new image and put it here or you can simply let's say put a solid color for a background you can do a gradient even um, so let's just pick that pink color and drag it over to the white side um, click on the other end of the screen and let's just pick that pink again and lighten it up a little make this even more white like this and then from here we can actually also extend the gradient and um, you can spin it around if you want to change the look and feel so that's how you uh, adjust the background colors now to change the full background color of this site you can simply click here on desktop and under fill you can play around with the color of the background and this changes the color on all breakpoints so it's very flexible and easy to manage so we're gonna leave it like that for now to change the color of the buttons you simply can click on the button again scroll down and here on the fill you can let's say select this pink one and to change the hover effect here you simply go next to effects on hover and let's make it dark on hover and now if we play the website you will see that this is um, applied now uh, now not every button uh, is changed like that for example the component ones which are these ones you should double click on them and then just select the main variant here and again scroll down change the color to what you want it to be and you can change the hover to what you want it to be then deselect and go back to home and this effect that you just changed will be applied now the next element we're going to customize is the client logos so if you guys have some impressive clients you've worked with or even if they're not known logos just make your site look more legit and clients will see that you've worked with real companies um, so to add more logos um, you can simply drag in your new logo here so let's say um, we have this logo and you'll see that it will be in a weird dimension so you might have to resize it by uh, clicking this angle here and just resizing it make sure it fits nicely with the other logos let's add another one uh, for example let's add the entrepreneur logo if you've been featured in this magazine <laughs> you can uh, put it in but again resize it so it fits nicely and now to add it into this um, carousel here simply select it hover over the three lines hold down your mouse and then connect one mistake we did is that we inserted the images themselves but they are not in a frame and to add it to the carousel we need to frame them so you can simply click on it right click and then add frame and then from here we're just gonna remove the fill background because we want it to be um, with a clear background we'll do the same here and now if we do the same thing select the carousel and drag it in and connect it we will add those logos now um, let's preview that and the thing is these logos are not adjusted to have the same color as here so if uh, you guys can do that i would definitely recommend for you to change their color to fit um you know every logo if they're if you're going for gray make them gray if you're going for black make every logo black or anything like that just to make it look consistent um, and if you're going for full color then just keep them all full color but as you can see our logos are now uh, right here okay so now to customize the services um, let's say you have only three services and you don't need this fourth one you can simply put your services here add a short description and then to um, remove the fourth one you simply need to hover over this area to where um, the full service is actually highlighted click on it 
and just to double check on the left side under the layers tab you must select the um, layer that says service that's the last one and then just scroll down to the right side and next to visible you can click no now if you want to add more you can um, you know make it visible again make sure again the same thing is selected and click ctrl d and you can add as many services as you want so it's really as simple as that to customize this widget now the next section we have is the benefits section here you can uh, change the the copy on the three boxes we have um, i would recommend really only changing these two um, and here i wouldn't suggest you to add more benefits because you can really easily mess up the layout uh, of this section so just think about the two main benefits you want to highlight change the text and leave the book your free consultation here just make sure to uh, add a real description um, now to change the icons here let's say you uh, want something else you can simply click on that then on the right side you can either search for an icon for example let's search for instagram and you see that pops up or you can go through a list and then pick something that you think might work just like that and this is the same for um, all icons that you see here now the next section is the case study section this is very important um, and again we already saw how you can edit the text in the button here now to change the screenshot let's say you're not doing google ads but maybe you're um, doing facebook ads you can simply make a screenshot of what you want to share obviously it has to be related to the case study you're sharing here you can simply click on the image and here on fill again click on the image choose the image and this will change it and apply all of the styling that you see here if for example you want to change the background color you can select uh, the background image and here again on the right side scroll down and you see we have this image fill again you can pick a different image that you download from the internet or make yourself or you can hide it and then add a color so for example let's say we want to add a solid pink color or maybe a gradient we can do that as well just like that and as you can see it's very easy and intuitive to customize it now let's say uh, you you want to add a second case study here which i would definitely recommend because the more you have the better um, you simply need to select the main case study element go to the left side under the layers tab make sure the singular case study is selected and below it you will find the same thing that's a little grayed out you can click on that and then on the right side just make it visible right here under the styles tab and this will add a second case study um, here you might notice that uh, the preheading is not changed color wise so we, we can select that go to the right side and apply the new pink color and again you can do the same customizations on the image here if you want to add more case studies you can do that again it requires a bit more work but basically select the main singular case study element click ctrl d and then just drag this third case study below the the previous one and this way they're kind of in this um, zigzag layout so it looks pretty nice and if you want to hide it just simply select it again go down and make it not visible now the next section is also very important i would say that the case study and the testimonials are the two most important sections on this page um, so if you want to add more testimonials or if you want to edit the one that we have here you can simply go to the left side of the screen and again change the image here change the uh, name so person name change their position and add your testimonial here um, so that's how you edit it and if you want to add more you can simply select this testimonial and then just hold down alt or command or option on mac again um, shortcuts are a bit weird and then drag it out and this adds a second testimonial and if you want to connect it to your testimonial widget we do the same thing as the logos just click on it um, get these three dots and drag it and connect it to our newly added testimonial so yeah just make sure to add as many testimonials as possible now if you don't have any testimonials or case studies yet i would strongly recommend for you to work for somebody for free make sure you deliver very good results for them and then just ask ask them for a testimonial at the end and just create a case study showing what you have achieved for them and how you've done that okay so to change your calendly link you can simply select your 
uh, Calendly widget here and then go to the right side and here you will see that we have the calendar property. Now to get that you can simply log into your uh, Calendly dashboard, get your share link, paste it here and then from here you see that uh, we have this everything after the forward slash. We need to copy it and then go back to Framer and then paste it here and um, if we do that you will see that your calendar actually changes and this is how easy it is to uh, change the Calendly. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is customizing the social media icons. So first things, um, if you wanna add your social media links, you can simply click on what you wanna add. And then on the left side, you will see that we have selected the icon, but we wanna select the wrapper where we can put our link and you can recognize it by seeing this icon here to the right side. So click on that and from here you can put in your Twitter link. Same thing for YouTube, select the icon, go to the left and then select the wrapper and put your YouTube here. Um, if you want to add, let's say LinkedIn, you can simply select the uh, grayed out LinkedIn here, go to the right side and then make it visible. Um, you see that it's in white color. So to change it, uh, click on the icon, uh, go to the right side under color, make it dark. And then you can again, select the wrapper and put your link up here. And if you wanna remove any of the already um, existing social media icons, select the wrapper, go to the right side and make it visible no. And this will leave you only with uh, what you want to show here. And again, don't forget to change your uh, logo again in the footer. Um, under the fill, you can choose an image, put in the new logo. Again, adjust the sizing, let's make it 60. And um, also in the middle, you see that we have a copyright notice. Um, here, I would just recommend to put your um, agency name here and everything should be done. Um, now again, to customize the background on the footer, you will see that we have a blue fill. You can simply click on that and then um, just make it a solid color, a gradient, or keep it for the image that we have set for it. Same thing for the testimonials. If you select it, the main component here from the layers, you'll see that we have an image fill. You can change it with your image or simply change it to a different color, just like that. So this is how easy it is to make your new agency website. And as you can see, um, this template is very sleek, it's very modern, and I'm sure if you utilize it correctly, um, it will bring you a lot of leads. Of course, if you bring a sufficient amount of traffic to it. Um, so yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. And if you wanna see more content like this in the future, um, you can subscribe and that's it for me. Thank you for watching.